Welcome back to Broncos franchise week 17 as we take on the 12 and 3 Cincinnati Bengals. Um uh, yeah, we're definitely out of playoff contention here. And I think last week losing over the Chargers, it looks like they have uh made it to the playoffs. We'll see. But we'll take a look at the playoff picture here. Of course, Miami still the one seed. Uh the Colts two seed, Chiefs three. Bengals 4, Ravens at 5, Chargers at 6, and Jags at 7. Then over at the NFC, we have Eagles at 1, 49ers at 2, Minnesota 3, Falcons 4, uh, Cowboys 5, Packers 6, and the Seahawks 7th seed. So we'll see what changes between then or now and you know, actual playoff time, but there's no way... The rats are going to make it. Uh, we're going to defend the... We'll, we'll defend the deep passage against Joe Burrow. I think that's the right call there. And then I guess we'll go run it... Or run inside against this defense and we'll take care of these trainings quick. Going up against the real Sim Shady. Still running the second team on defense. Main squad still out on offense. Let's see how they perform today. Turn to the 28. It's Joey B coming out. Let's see what Cincy can do today. 3,800 yards, 33 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions for Joe Burrow. Great season so far for him. Hopefully, we can uh, add a couple more interceptions to that total today. Why is Tamar Mathis on Jamar Chase? I don't think so, buddy. Get off of Zach Moss. He's going to lose a yard. Bring up second and 11. Sicky in motion. To dump that one down to 13. Don't know who that is. Gain of five. It's a screen. We're all over that to Zach Moss. And that's going to bring up fourth and six. Bunting coming out now. Be a great punt. We're just gonna let that one fly out into the end zone for a touchback to the 20. Thankfully, it went out. Thank you for not exposing me, Madden, and breaking your damn game so I don't look bad. Numbers aren't good. You don't want to look at them anyways. <laughs> Try to dump that one out to Williams. Couldn't get it out in time. They'll lob this one up for Franklin. He's got a little bit of space. Hilton in coverage. Can't get to us. And Troy Flanken within the red zone already up to the 11. Amazing play by the rookie there. Gain a one for Williams on that run. Nick's under pressure. Ball comes out. Okorafor picks it up. The big man trying to dive for the touchdown. 
Can't get it. Brings up third and one at the two. Well, that went up to Dulcich. Overthrow and brings up fourth and one. We're obviously going to go for it here if we don't get it. Since he's down at the two. I am A OK with that. Even better yet, they're at the one. Oh, we picked up the first. Okay. I was like, why are we still on offense? Let's keep running it, I guess. That's a touchdown for Williams. Wide open up the middle. It's the gap. We go up seven nothing on Cincy here. Again, not really trying to win these games, just trying to add some stats. So we're already out of playoffs, so there's no point in really winning and lowering our draft position. And though we still should have at least top five. I haven't checked Arizona's record in a little bit, but should at least have top five secured with their first rounder. I hope. Little screen off to Mark Chase. We were kind of all over that with Jordan Brooks. No gain on the play, second and ten. Oh, Turner yell. I went for just the pass block. Probably could have easily picked that with him, but we'll at least take the pass breakup. Pass over the middle to Gesicki. Drops it fourth and ten. Thankfully, that was wide open and a great play to midfield, but thankfully we're there to break it up. Marvin Mims on the return. Gonna have a little bit of space on the outside, taking that up to the 38. Taunting in front of the Cincy bench. Well, this one out to Dulcich. He's got the first, just outside the red zone at the 22. Gain of a couple there. Second and six. Over to Marvin Mims. Up to the seven. Oh no. Thought, uh, who is that? Michael Pratt? Yep. I thought he was going with uh, Dulcich there. I thought he was following him all the way across on the drag. Here's Nix. Swing to Marvin Mims. Down at the one. I accidentally uh, went for possession instead of Rack, but should be all right. Maybe not. Big old Cora for there trying to die for the Tuddy. Must have just kicked the field goal. I'm going for it, man. Right with McLaughlin. I kept going left. I should have gone up a little bit. We're going to run commit. We're there. I say he gained one, but not really. Run commit middle again. So we're there getting the safety on Zach Moss. It's exactly what we wanted. Safety and now have to kick it away. 
Mims having some open fields and can't break free. Take it down at the 48. Deep but Dulcich goes up and he comes down with it at the eight. Try not to get like too excited about our lead here, especially if we score again. Uh, so you know how that went last week against the Chargers. <laughs> not well. Oh, I thought we had that with Dulcich. We're gonna go drag with Culp. Should hopefully have him. He's gonna take off with Bo, and he's gonna have a rushing touchdown there on his resume. Go up 16 nothing. That'll be the start to the second quarter there. Let's kick off. Turn to the 27. I did try and uh, run commit, but. Or pass commit. Not run commit. Pass committed. Didn't really work out. Now they're probably gonna pass though. So. First and ten now. Here's Burrow. That's Kasiki. He's got it. Nick Benino making a diving tackle on Mike Kasiki there. Picks up the first up to the 48. have a screen it's a fumble Benito picks it up he's gonna have a yeah he's gonna have a fumble touchdown return we go up by three scores here four scores 23 nothing I, I, I don't understand. How do we play this good against really good teams and then complete ass against bad teams? The teams that we should be winning like this against. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. It also doesn't make sense to me because I was watching Bengal. Uh, it's after we destroyed the Chiefs. He had a game against the Chiefs. And he got absolutely shit on by him. I, I don't get it. We're both playing all Madden. We're both playing... Well, we were both playing regular settings. Like sliders and everything. Like he was too at that time. But then he eventually changed them. Some of his games were too easy for him. Except for that, I, it doesn't make sense. But obviously, our team is not good, especially defense. We, we what, have Baron Browning and Pat Sertan and Chris Abrams Drain. And then I don't know where we got, we bring in Damari Mathis and he's making plays like that. Against Joe Burrow? Of all people, I don't know, man. Like, yes, our offense isn't bad, but it ain't nothing great. We got Dulcich, Williams, and Franklin. I mean, I feel like Sutton hasn't done a whole lot for us. As I say that, he's gonna have a 60 yard catch. Just kidding. Up to the 50, though. 
but he, I, I mean, he's not our top receiver this year, I don't think. Our offensive line is abysmal. I think Quinn Miners is the best. Mike McGlinchey isn't bad, but he's just caused us so many penalties. It would be better off if he wasn't even on the field. That was horrible. What am I doing? Michael Pratt with the pick. Jermaine Pratt. I don't know why I'm saying Michael Pratt. Jermaine Pratt. Y'all know who I was talking about before. Ooh, I bet I'm get sicky there. Good read by Burrow. Guilty read, but good read. Siki with the first down up to the 44. We get a timeout now from the Bengals. That's going to be their first. On first down, here's Burrow. He's going to be taken down and sacked by Zach Allen. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. After the sack, another pass on second down. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throw away from Joe Burrow there. Brings up third and 16. We're just going to pass commit. Pass to Gasicki caught. Pedaling backwards. Pushed down by Jordan Brooks. Bring up first and 10 from the 22. Tamari <laughs> Matt just laying a big hit on Mike Gasicki there. 37 seconds left. T. Higgins just wide open over here. Oh man. Jones with the catch there. Jordan Brooks stepping up, getting the tackle. Since the four seconds left, taking a timeout, we will try and ice Evan McPherson here. It's not going to happen, but we should have one second left here. Usually, field goals take three seconds. Oh, it only took two. So we will have two seconds left after the kickoff here. Go. We'll have a play from the 30. I think we will just try and chuck it deep here. See if Troy Franklin gets open. Jordan Battle down there. We'll make the catch with Troy Franklin. Picking up the first. That brings to halftime. So we're up by 20, 23-3. All right, it's not going to show us the uh, halftime set. Right and the short pass. Let's see what happens. All right, I got to chill a little. All right, I think we're just going to start running now. Start running, try giving the Bengals the ball here. Let them score. I ain't, I am not trying to win. I know you guys want to see me win, but I'm trying to get a higher pick, man. I don't want this win. Okay, obviously, I'll keep trying, but end of the day, I want to lose. First he could go down, Abram String could have had another touchdown, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, 
I'm going to put in uh, Zach Wilson here. Alright. Go next time for the day. Go off and catch up to the five. And I'm, I'm honestly not scoring because I don't. I would have rather have Abram Strain having the pick six instead of Estimate having the touchdown. If I'm being honest with you. Do want him to have positive yards though. So core four, no good. Cincinnati just about set for its next offensive possession. Well, we all know at this point, turnovers the big problem for them in this game, Brock. And not surprisingly, the defense has capitalized on those mistakes on Zach Allen there. Destroying Zach Moss in the backfield. That was gonna be another safety, but I guess not. That's gonna be another safety. All right. What is going on right now? <laughs> Don't let me win, damn it. Jesus, overthrow, man. Hey, Mr. Quarterback, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage is waiting for him. First thing start throwing them beat. They get picked, they get picked. It is we threw with Zach Wilson there. Frankly catches it. What is going on? It's a huge pickup on the play. The Broncos will have a first down. Get out of here, man. Oh god. There's a flag on the play, probably rough. I, and that kick is short. I promise you I did not <laughs> mean to do that. <laughs> So I know kind of where to cut and hit the pause recording on accident. So I've just been talking to myself for the past 10, 20 minutes. Since he's back up, they tied it. I had to put Bo Nix back in because it was literally fumble, interception, fumble, fumble with Zach Wilson. Not intentional. He just doesn't know how to get the ball out in time. And yeah. I swear our blocking just goes out the window when Zach was something to I at least have a little bit of time with Onyx, but yeah, Zach Wilson, it's just they give me no time. I go off on the run. 
the 28. And he's going to be taken down at the 28. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old. That'll bring us to the two minute warning. All tied up, 38 38. Not that I'm mad that since he came back to tie it and I hope that they win, but not the way I wanted him to. I want him to actually do stuff to themselves, not... I mean, that's kind of why we put that. So just kind of to let him uh, eat us up and use him as like free access to turnovers, but... In a way, it kind of worked, but you know, it's also like not technically right. And I'm mad that I didn't even get it on video because. Don't score. Really don't want to score. For another run, and we're stuck. I'm gonna go for it here. Go for another run, why not? Just <laughs> go down at the two. I don't want to score. Oh no, <laughs> he tried to jump it. Oh man. Yes, I'm throwing, but I'm not intentionally throwing. I know it looks like I am. Oh, it's your map. I actually tried jumping the snap count there and gaining safety. Tan tackling Higgins right before the midfield marker. Throw that one away. No uh, attention to ground. That ball went limp as fuck after he kicked it. We kicked it, hit the top of the net, and just fell dead. Five seconds left. I've seen a passage here. You're just going full game, Hail Mary. Catch that? No. Alright, it's gonna be overtime. He scored 30. Oh, yeah. Zach Wilson effect, man. If you ever just want to lose a lead, go in Zach Wilson. Tails. Alright. We're going to kick. I want them to have the ball. I want them to go down and score a touchdown. Win the game. Keep me at a decent draft pick here. Yeah, off season I'm sending Jordan Brooks back to Miami. Send to Miami for I guess six rounder. I'll send him to seven with him. 
for a six, and we'll just have like a pick swap. I forget what the initial deal was, but I know damn well I gave him more than what Jordan Brooks is worth. Maybe not, but he's played really good for us. And we'll just put in there, um, you know, with the contract clause, we uh, used him from Miami for a season. And I'll make some bullshit up and come up with it. Alright. I'll make up some contract that we made up with Miami. Make it more realistic, alright? Don't question me. I look at the bottom and I see Baltimore and Texans and then it says Anthony Richardson. I'm like, hello? Do we just take a safety here? Oh no! Don't hate me, guys. Don't hate me. We need the better draft pick, alright? You guys would do the same. <laughs> oh man, honestly, if you would have seen how Zach Wilson was in there playing, you would have thought I was trying to throw the game for real. I literally couldn't even, like how much time I had in the pocket there was with Bo Nix. Like imagine just snapping the ball in the insect. That's what happens when Zach Wilson gets in. How long is Zach Allen? Four weeks? Oh my god, bro. It's out the rest of the year. And last game of the season against the Chiefs. We're just going to play it right away, I think. Get it out of the way. Playoff picture. Indy takes the first seed over Miami. Miami must have lost because they went from 1 to 4. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Rookie blueprint. Blueprint. Let's see what we got here. Checking back in the progress we've made with our rookie QB. Not good. Oh, it hurts. Like I said, we should have uh, <laughs> we should have kept Bonex benched. Should have just played Zach Wilson. We could have like the one and two pick. Lots of good upgrades here though. Greg Dulcich. We'll go vertical thread on him. Got an ability slot. AD. We will go zone. Beautiful. Jordan Brooks. I mean, Miami should be thankful. We're giving them free upgrades here. Although he probably would have been like a 90 overall already in Miami, but besides the point I should have probably put receiving on McLaughlin there whatever take a look at what we can put on Dulcich here keep out elite sure do grab and go Short and elite. And we'll go short out actually. All right. Uh, let's see here. Weekly strategy. Yeah, I think defending the D pass is what's making us unstoppable against these teams, man. These super teams. I'm just gonna send these. Don't even care about him. Not this week. Let's just get the season over with, baby. Any injuries? Please no. Uh, 
More upgrades, probably Bo Nix here. Nope, oh, Troy Franklin, all right. Go play maker on him. Yeah, lots of upgrades there. Better be some real good safeties in here, man. Mark Burr. So yeah, safeties we should pretty much have all of them 100% by draft day, so. Excited to see what they look like. Let's get this uh, game underway. It's week 18 of the National Football League, and the focus is on Cortland Sutton, who's now over a thousand yards receiving on the season. It's the Broncos and the Chiefs. All that. All right. Final game of the season. We are ending it in in Power Field at Mile High, Denver, Colorado. Harmon up to the 28. And Kermit the Frog running out. That's going to be rough in the pass for Rasheed Rice. Big catch on the sideline. Diving for a couple extra yards there. Good game of five there. Legal man downfield. Okay. We'll accept that. Too many plays of that size in a game. And that flag takes away one of them. Cody Barron blowing that play up. Taking down Isaiah Pacheco in the backfield. Loss of three, second and 18 now. back there. That's the Kelsey in between everybody. Getting dragged down by Pat Sertan. Hollywood Brown injured. No, it's not what I want. I should probably go by his speed, huh? That overall. Probably gonna get cooked here. She rice. God damn it. By speed. Alright. It's taking advantage of a... Always click the left stick instead of the right stick. Cody Barton back there can't take down Mahomes and we're diving with Jonathan Cooper. All right. Pacheco. Gain of a couple there. Bring the third and seven. That's the Kelsey. That man cut inside so fast. You have time to fucking react, man. Since he going up seven, nothing. Just think if we didn't kick their ass the first game, they'd be 15. It ended the season 16 and 1. We're gonna end it 15 and 2. Go off on big return to 31. 
Bo Nix coming out now. Show us some stats. Thirty-six, forty-five hundred yards, thirty-six touchdowns, thirty interceptions. Alright. We are talking about those interceptions. So. All right. Big pass to Josh Reynolds and dropped it. Pass broken up. Dulcich with that one. Right at the midfield marker. Right before the midfield marker, I should say, at the 47. Take a little screen pass here to Williams. Nick Bolton there, just right in between all the linemen. Now we're up to the midfield marker. Third and six after the screen pass to Dulcich. Fourth and six. We'll punt this one with Riley. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. Nicole Hardman on the Chiefs return. Hit him with the force, man. What is what is my guy doing? I'm trying to go down. Watch my words, sir. I almost said it's gonna go down on. Him. Holding the sick down, going to tackle. My dude's just strafing backwards. Why is switch stick still on? I turn the shit off every. Oh, I'm getting mad. Turn it off. I need to go out and change it after. I gotta like write it down or some shit. That way I remember. Switch stick. I mean, mark it. That way I remember. What the f am I playing? This ain't Madden. I'm playing against the motherfucking Justice League here, bro. I can't even go back and rewatch it. Over it. All right, Rasheed Rice, you can have that. Whatever. We are leading the league in passing yards. Of course, it don't matter when you have as many interceptions as the entire league combined. Just adding to that number today, I guess. Justin Reed with pick. Give me that shit, man. The ball's out. This could be overturned and it's going to be down. Yeah. I ain't even got to watch it. I know. It's every time that I do that and I put my controller down thinking the play's over, then the oh it's a fumble by the way. No the it ain't. You line sack of turds. G 
Jesus. Come on, Patrick. Pick it. I thought, I thought it was third and ten. I'm like, you're running that? I gotta watch my screen, bro. Full reset here. See, this is why, like, I have to say that I'm gonna lose on purpose. So I'm too competitive. I don't like losing chat. All right. I like to win. But I have to say, oh, we're losing on purpose that way. When we're supposed to lose like this and we actually lose, I'm not mad about it. But like, I forget we're supposed to be losing, right? So I'm sitting here trying. And I shouldn't be. Because they should just should honestly just let Kansas City just shit all over me. Probably cut half this game out for you guys. Ah! Come on, is that a safety? I think that should have been a safety. I tried pitching it back to Abram Strain, hoping that he would, you know, go and take it, take it back for a uh, Tutty, help his rookie numbers. But this what it is. Troy Franklin, big catch and run there. Oh no! Thank you, Troy. Justin Reed injured on the play. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Thank you for not picking that, my boy. Yeah, I should have gone up for Josh Reynolds. Troy Frank would just be a beast out here. Josh Reynolds on the side. Sideline. Side of the end zone, whatever. You know what I was trying to say. Incomplete, though. For Marvin Mims. Can't turn around. I mean, he was turned around, but. Picks there. Pass breakup. Third and ten. Try and take another shot for the end zone. Up to Dulcich. Threading the needle. Can't hold on. Incomplete. Fourth and ten. We'll take our three points here. Will Lutz kick is good. 14 to three. Can City up by 11. No way, bro. Ain't no way. I literally pause the recording because I'm like, oh. Once something big happens, I'll just come back. You yeah, know, something big just happened. I, I, I don't even know how to explain this. We go, yeah. Switch to Jordan Brooks here. I'll go lay Mahomes' ass out. Missed. 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 What the? Learn to tackle. You're in the NFL. This is a Muppet. <laughs> Losing on purpose. That one right down the middle. And it's also different, you know, when, when we're down three touchdowns. And, you know, instead of being in Cincy. Being up. Five, seven touchdowns. Five. Ben losing that. That was fun. Pass on the run to Dulcich. Great crab. Great crab. Second and 
and six coming up here. Nick's off the play action. That's a toddy. Thank you, my good friend. Leo Chanel catch it up to Dulcich. I shot a bounce by Justin Reed, who was dead three plays ago. I don't understand. From the red zone now. Headed out right. Oh, I tried throwing it to Devin Colt, man. Oi, oi, oi. Oh yeah, just throw a pick to Nick Bolton. Why not? Why not? I'm over this game, bro. Run commit. Hopefully they pass and just go score an 800 yard touchdown. Why not? Loss of one, second and 11, down at two. Should be another run. One. Third and twelve. Should be another one. It's like Pacheco again. Down at the one. Fourth and twelve. Hunting coming out now. Fuck that shit, bro. Mark Mims takes it up to the field at 49. Alright, let's try and score a touchdown here. I'm like in the middle of the field here. Let's try and get McLaughlin up there. Shotgun snap to Nitz. Hold it on the run up to Marvin Mims. Replay up to the 32. Dulcich catches good, breaking a tackle in two, or two, in two. At you. Holy shit. Up to Cortland so he makes a hell of a grab for a touchdown. Ain't no way that actually just happened, bro. Justin Houston. A mile away. Amazing. Amazing rollout, amazing throw, and not really an amazing throw, but nice throw by Bo Nix. Crazy catch and concentration by Cortland Sutton to haul that one in. Making it 10 to 21 now. Cat is missing the board. They're killing me. All right. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They're trailing, but there's enough time, Brock, that they could get a scoring drive to attack that here before. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards, second down. Manu, in the sack there. Try following the sack. Launches one deep downfield. Really pushing the envelope. Oh, yeah, just kill my receiver. No flag right Let's run it on third and twenty-two. Are you high? The hell you think this is? Oh! Pick six. Alright. 
Welcome to halftime. Swarm of Hornets. The coverage has been everywhere. This offense has tried to throw it. So many possessions lost to interceptions, as we're being reminded of right here. Yeah, think about it from a pure mathematical perspective. That's as many as 24 to 20, even 32 points mm. left on the table offensively. That's yeah. enough to win a brand new football game. Kept off the board. situation here it's third and two now it's Mahomes uh, and they will score touchdown Kansas good. City the Chiefs continue piling it on here in the fourth that one splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead I'm doing the Chiefs get lined up and they will kick this away. Return coming from the six. This return makes it up to the 25. And just a week before the playoffs begin, partner, here's where teams stand as we play out this regular season finale. Going on first down, Knicks. Pass complete to Dulcich. And this one gets to the 33 yard line before it stopped. So now it's time after a tell me it's injured, but not that you tell me it's injured. I think we can all agree on what any of us were hoping to see as we close out this regular season. Brandon Reynolds. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Stop hitting me. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Jesus Christ. This one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. A boy almost the died out there. They'll throw again. Knicks. They just got away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Shotgun snap to Knicks. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender. We got Bo Nix at quarterback for Zach Wilson. Come on. Knicks from the gun. Oh, he put everything he had into that throw. Now fourth down. That one won't work. It's incomplete. I'm done. All right. They'll head up first and ten for the That's probably the game, boys. I'll see you at the end. I don't even care if they score anymore. Pacheco gets it from the gun. Play. And that'll be 
be good for a Denver first. Once more, it's Wilson. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Working quickly here. Sticking in the air with Wilson. Extends, and he's got it. A nice game, 13. You're not going to get commentary the rest of the game. Just so you guys know. Probably just gonna end up doing like jump cuts on this, uh, all the catches, so. I'm just out of it, ready for this game to be over. Yeah, don't even matter. That's not a safety. How? This motherfucker didn't even get out of the end zone. <coughs> even in Madden, they're kissing fucking kids. No, I'm pissed. No, I need a touchdown. Force overtime. Are you smoking fucking rocks? What is this announcement crew, man? <laughs> Imagine I caught that it went to overtime. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, I love it. This game's amazing. Taking the loss in mile high. Could have forced overtime. 19 to 40 or 17 to 49. Take a look at the press conference here. Hey coach, I saw Ryan Clark talking about our season record this morning. Remember back in week five we told him we told the press that we go eight to nine wins. Sure. Uh, he was talking about how you struggled this year. You promised eight to nine wins and we didn't get there. I guess you didn't know. The team as well as you thought. Ouch. I mean, I did. We lost on purpose, so fuck off. Mock draft three. We have the third overall pick. Of course, Dennis Hayden still projected to go number one to New England. Uh, Mitch Davis looking to go number two. Left end out of Texas A&M to Carolina. They have us taking Thurman Black from Michigan. Right end. Don't be mad with that. Brian Davis going four. John Terry at five. John Rogers at six. Finally, quarterback Jay Blackman. Going number seven overall to New York. Deontay Short going eight. Marcus Borden going nine. And have a second Tyrone Short at ten. Again, would not be mad with that pick. Yeah, it depends on... I'm going to do a little bit of... A lot more scouting. We have more focus... Uh, to do... More focus scouting on specific players to do. Let us go... To the next week. I guess we could we have looked at the... Playoffs here. Of course, Kansas City with the win there. Gets a one seed. Miami winning. Uh, yeah. It's playoffs. <laughs> I'm so out of it, guys. I'm sorry. Longer episode, but hopefully worth it. Kansas City and Miami versus... Kansas City versus Miami and Sam Fran. Taking on Green Bay in the championship games. Am 
my money is going to be on Miami and Green Bay. Miami won. 49ers won. Damn. Take a look at the Pro Bowl roster here. See if anybody on our team made it. Dulcis tight end too. I'm gonna guess that Abram Strain made it. Jordan Brooks. Yeah. Abram Strain C B one. Julio McLaughlin kick return one. Interesting. Would have thought that Marvin Mims was back there, but I guess moving him back there was a good choice. So we have to let's keep an eye out on Abram Strain here. Troy Franklin. Big enough of a boy to move to wide receiver one, I guess. Abram Strain, if he gets Rookie of the Year, I'm going to guess he's going to become X-Factor, which would be beautiful. I think that they announced that after the Super Bowl. Take a look at some upgrades here. Abram Strain. He's got a... Uh, Achievement saying unlocking rookie X Factor potential, and with that, I'm assuming that means that he got a uh, defensive rookie of the year, which is why we have five freaking upgrades for him. But he is an X Factor, as you can see, he has a shutdown uh, factor there. We're just gonna boost the shit out of his slot, that will get him to a 80, 88 overall. I can do math. A little slow, but I can do math. That's actually really nice. So now we have two X Factor corners. I think. Yeah, so we're going to go Zone Hawk on him because um, Pat has the shutdown one. Let Zone Knockout. I'm going to do Inside Shade. Medium route knockout. Let's see what that combo does for him. We will go ahead and advance this and see who won the Super Bowl. Get all the final actual achievements here. And then I will be doing the same thing with this franchise as I did do with my Jets franchise, and I will be live streaming. The off seasons. Um, I'll just do it on this channel. I think I'm not gonna go over to Twitch and everything. So um, keep an eye out for the live streams here. And there we go. We have it officially. Defensive player of the year and defensive rookie player of the year. Defensive rookie of the year and defensive player of the year is Chris Amstrain, Miami. Beating San Francisco here, 35-31. Tua taking on the Super Bowl MVP. Obviously, a wish him best of luck in real life. Um, yeah, we got Patrick Mahomes as league MVP. Andy Reid, coach of the year. Brandon Ayuk, offensive player of the year. Abram Strain, defense player of the year. Keon Coleman, rookie, offensive rookie of the year. Abram Strain, defensive rookie of the year. And I will save the rest of the storylines and everything for uh, when we start the 
off season. Don't have a date in mind yet. Keep an eye out on X. I will be posting on there whenever. Um, whenever I plan on doing that. So. Yeah. Ooh, they have us taking Dennis Hayden now at three. Could be interesting. But yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. Thank you for joining me on this longer episode. Uh, hope you did enjoy the double header, and I will see you guys in the off season. Till then, stay cool. Peace.